My name is Tom Nunn, and uh, I got involved in this festival through Andre Custodio, who is sharing with me the responsibility for doing a vi uh, series at Venue 9 in San Francisco of this kind of music, new music, experimental music, and improvised music uh, on Friday nights at 1030. We also have an occasional Wednesday night there, and we're trying to uh, connect and, and network with the whole Bay Area scene in terms of getting a centralized uh, network of venues and organizations. That's what I'm doing up there and how I found out about the gig. Uh, the gig down here is very impressive. I had all day to listen to the other people and all of them were terrific people. You know, it's just really uh, a joy to be involved in it, you know, so. Tell us a little bit about your instrument. What's this? Uh, this is the T Rodemba. It's called a T hyphen Rodemba, R O D I M B A. And it's uh, threaded rods, quarter inch steel rods. You can get it in a, any hardware store in three foot lengths. You cut them with bolt cutters, you bend them over a piece of half round on a vise, and you can fine tune them here. So you cut them to lengths here to create the pitch as they get shorter. They're in an, uh, an arrangement, this one is A, this is B, this is B flat, this is C, this is C sharp. So what happens is I'm using a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a half step, and it's called an octonic scale. And in jazz, that's called also the uh, diminished scale. So I have one on G, one on A, one on G sharp, one on A. And that's uh, the pitches. These are bronze rods, and I heat bend them with a torch and uh, they create a, a, a kind of uh, gong. These are two strings that are going through a washer, so it couples them, creates a chord. Also the idea of being able to bend the string. These are finishing nails. That's all they are. Different lengths, different diameters. And I cut them off uh, to so I have a, a lot of different links. This is the non-skid surface you find on surfboards or decks, uh, uh, you know, sun decks or something, so you don't slip. It's uh, self-adhesive backing. I, I scrape combs along this to create different uh, filtered white noise effects. Did you invent this? Yeah. It's, uh, I've been doing, uh, making instruments since 1975, and this is like the most recent long, uh, in a long line of uh, experiments.